the Islanders open Saturday in L.A. On the eve of the hockey season, the announcement from the NHL of $25,000 in fines levied against the Rangers and Flyers for that wild brawl in a preseason game at the Garden last week. No matter what the NHL does or says, the fact is fighting remains an integral part of the sport, so much so that videotapes of hockey fights are being traded throughout the country. Now, there are folks advertising and publications such as the Hockey News and getting responses from all over the nation. Now, Maine is a place that I've never traded with before. Do you have anything at all? Steve Ratnitz is a hockey fight collector who has called hundreds of hours of vintage fisticuff warfare, going back to the mid-70s, including rare footage from the old WHA. The 24-year-old liquor salesman is an Islander fan from Long Island. A lot of people say fighting doesn't belong in hockey, but I disagree with them. They have rules telling you how and how not to fight in hockey. For instance, pulling hair and uh, headbutting and so on. It's perfectly legal. Everybody knows it. And I think if they took it out of the game, half the people wouldn't show up to the games. I really believe that, too. Or as Don Sherry once said, I don't see anybody going for a cup of coffee during a fight. What is the best fight you have ever seen? There are a couple, but I would have to say probably... Uh, Gillies and Dave Hoyer. That was like a bench clearing for It probably wasn't the best fight, but at the time there was a lot of meaning behind it. He had taken a run at Mike Bossy and uh, he came in to help Mike Bossy and he really, uh, Dave Hoyer was a bully at the time and he really put him in his place. Have you come across any players that have been interested in getting some of your tapes, perhaps to use it for a clinical purpose, how to fight in the NFL? As a matter of fact, I have, but I really don't know if I want to say mention his name because uh oh come on Steve. I, I i don't think so but i can tell you some plays that we have traded with who's not in hockey anymore gary howard i get plenty of calls from plays that are interested but as i said i'm looking to trade and half the time they don't come through could you be happy watching a hockey game that does not have a fight uh i don't know if happy is the right word but if my if it was a good game and my team won and there were no fights I, I wouldn't mind, but if it went on for two or three games, I guess I'd get a little frustrated. Incidentally, Steve says the best fighter in the NHL is huge Buffalo defenseman Larry Playfair. Says the biggest bully is Jim Corn of Toronto. Jets gave up on...